Today I'm going to be talking about my new paddle board, how I designed it to be, for me, the ultimate fishing board. If you guys know, my last, my first paddle board, I had everything from fish finder, LED lights, it had about everything you can name on, on it. I want to see what the board could do. My second board was meant to be a fishing machine. What I found out over the years, it's not how much junk you can put on a kayak or a paddle board, it's how little you can put on it to make it fishable. That really does make it enjoyable. To that point, I want to carry just two rods. I would say one rod, but if you break a tip on a rod, something happens, your line tangles, you always want that backup rod, so I designed this for two rods. Start at the front, if you look at the front of the board, I got a track system set up with a bungee system. This allows me basically to install my uh, cameras. I like one camera for video, the other camera to shoot stills. I can also mount these cameras in the back on the track systems. So the track system is something new that I put on the paddle board. Next, underneath that bungee, two things. I can put a fish bag if I want to keep fish. If I'm just going out to catch some fish and have fun, I just take a small little tackle pack and I sit there and just put it over the bungees on it, holds it in place. If you look at it, that's a small little tackle pack, but I can fish for a whole week with what's in there. So learning to do with less really makes the day enjoyable. I got two types of uh, monofilament line, 120, 130, and I got a set of lures and I'm set to go. Back a little further, I did install a hatch. This hatch is good for several reasons. I put my key, my cell phone, also I put my wallet in there. I don't have to carry a big cooler in the back, so if I'm going really lightweight, the way this is set up now, it's a big plus. I do take my keys, wallet, and cell phone, put them in a Ziploc freezer bag because isn't, that hatch isn't totally waterproof, so you want to make sure you protect whatever electronics, your keys, or anything else that you put in there. The deck is a little different from my last uh, board. That's C deck. It's a teak finish. Really nice, really comfortable on the feet. Back a little further, I had them install um, track systems in the back. I want it to, so if I want to put something on the board, I can have it on there. If I don't, I can take it off quickly. And with all the attachments they have on these track systems, man, it's an excellent thing to have not only on a kayak, but also a paddle board. So here, I got one side set up. I got my rod holder. I got my drink holder, paddle clip, all on one mount. On the other side, I have a, uh, for now, I just have a rod holder. Carry my two rods, and uh, I got my paddle clip. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go fishing. It's lightweight, really easy, clean setup. That's what I want. It's something clean and simple. Now, if I wanted to load it up, I can load this board up just as much as I did my old board. I can put the electronics on it. I can put the lights, the coolers, the light bait well, and everything else. But I also have the option to strip it down and go super light. So I challenge you guys, try to go out fishing, carry a minimal amount of lures, two rods, go out there and enjoy it, whether you're inshore or offshore. You'd be surprised how little you really need to have a great day's fishing out there. This is Peter Hink for Palm Beach Beat Productions, and always, thank you for watching.